our energy policy take to meet our energy needs while at the same time remaining environmentally friendly and minimizing job loss for fossil power plant workers. Mr. Trump, two minutes. Absolutely. It's been nine months since Ken Bone from Belleville asked that question and wore that sweater at a presidential debate at Washington University, a moment that's changed his life forever. Our Ryan Dean is here. He has an exclusive interview with Ken Bone to share with us this morning about his 15 mm -hmm. minutes of fame and life afterwards. And apparently, it seems that the fame came with some ups and some downs. Yeah, you know, his life really skyrocketed. I mean, here's a man that had a few Twitter followers, then went to over 200,000 wow. Twitter followers. Uh, the good, he's profited off his fame. He's helped charities with his fame. He's also encouraged people to vote with his fame. That's all the good. There has been some bad, like death threats and bomb threats, one in particular where his house actually had to be swept by police. Ken Bone is still asked on occasion to put on an IZOD red sweater that this made him the, famous. The, this is not the original, but it's just like it. A little brighter because it hasn't been washed 700 times. What steps will he sold the original debate sweater to back to IZOD to raise money for charity. IZOD bought it back from me for $10,000. And there were more charitable donations from Ken's rise to fame. He says 10% of all endorsement deals he made last fall went to help others. Not only was I able to, to raise the money for the charities, uh, but uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. Things have calmed down for Ken since the height of his popularity. All but one endorsement deal have ended. But he says he made about $155,000 from all the deals. Uh, I paid off a, a lot of my rotating debt. Like we don't have credit cards anymore. We don't have uh, a car payment anymore. But uh, you know, we, I still have to go to work every day. Even though things are getting back to normal, it's a new normal. He's still recognized everywhere he goes. At least once a day, somebody will just like yell after me, like, Ken Bone, and I'll turn around and wave, and then they'll run up and we'll do pictures or whatever. But Ken has his own pictures he keeps in a scrapbook of all his travels and media appearances. Yeah, this is me getting makeup put on in, in my dining room. And though his name is known nationwide, it hasn't changed who he is which he believes made him famous in the first place. I was just a regular guy, and I always tried to just remain a regular guy, even when I was getting swarmed by people wanting to do pictures and autographs and stuff. I knew that, like, tomorrow morning I could wake up and this will be over, and I'm still going to be the regular guy who is Logan's dad and Heather's husband, and, like, that's what people really like. Yeah, so Ken looks back at his time in the spotlight, you know, mostly positive, but I said there are were some down downturns mm -hmm. in... Um, Four, several times had death threats, prank calls that turned into death threats. Uh, four times police had to be called to his house. They turned out to be nothing, but you know, just kind it's of the, yeah, very yeah. frightening. Uh, by the way, he's never said who uh, he voted for, and he says he won't because now he says if he comes out and says who he voted for, it'll just look like he's trying to turn the attention on him, and he doesn't want that. Right. Again, he says he's a regular guy. Jeez, I feel like this guy should write a book. It, funny you say that. <laughs> he's actually trying to work on one. He said it's really hard, but he's going to yeah. try to work on one. It's about how his life totally changed, and I said, well, what would the title be? And he said, I haven't really thought of it. He goes, maybe my life as a meme. <laughs> wow. My life is wow. a meme. Oh my gosh. But, but a super right. cool guy, really. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. Well, this is how cool he is. I was able to take a picture with him when he came to our studio yeah. Yeah. right afterwards. Yeah. That's the only time my kids have ever retweeted a picture of me and somebody else. Oh, they so were, they were very impressed wow. that Ken Bone was in the house. And by the way, the, the uh, businesses he did business with, he made them also give to charity as well, match his donations. That's cool. So that's really nice to hear. He helped out a lot of people. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan.